Hello Fratolowers and welcome to Mr. M Fretwell Plays Minecraft. I am Mr. M Fretwell as always and today I want to get right on with it straight away and we're going to head off and explore that cave that I found in the last episode. So I've all geared up for everything um, that we might face. I've got blocks, gravity blocks, tools, weapons, torches. The only thing I'm missing is some armor which I can't really help unfortunately because there's been no cows around here to make any leather armor with. One thing I am thinking about doing though is luring some of those sheep over here and setting up a sheep farm somewhere in this village. I want to build some more houses to try and encourage breeding because I would like to get an iron golem in this village for uh, protection for when the zombie sieges occur. And obviously they're a random event that at the moment I'm just avoiding by going to sleep when the sun goes down. So I don't have to worry about that in future. I would like to get those houses built. So that's probably one of those projects I'm going to do off camera and bring you back in to when I've completed it because it's quite redundant and quite boring to watch. Look at that, there's a mine shaft down there. Um, right below that other island, so that's probably something we might check out at a later date. You can just see it now because the world isn't loading in properly with the uh, fraps recording and everything. So, uh, where is this cave that we found? I'm positive it was on this coast somewhere. Let's see, was it right here? No, that was that other one. I've just come back from here, I s I'm sure of it. Or was it further along here? This mine shaft does seem to stretch quite a ways. We might find it in that cave. If we are lucky. If I can actually find the cave in today's episode. I um, really should have marked it off with torches so that I didn't end up running into this problem. I brought my bed along with me so that I can set my spawn when I need to. That's that. I keep running into that other one thinking that's it. But I was positive it was near my uh, sugarcane farm. Is it back over this way? Have I gone too far? Ah, I went too far. Makes sense, I guess. Oops, so, uh, shouldn't be any monsters down here. I would like to get this bed down and uh, set my spawn before we really venture any further into uh, this cave so that if I do happen to croak while I'm down there I've not got a huge what the <laughs> I've not got a huge journey coming backwards but okay so I am on normal difficulty brilliant we've got a skelly with an enchanted bow that's it's got to be good news so there's some iron there The biggest threat I've got right now is creeper, if anything. If a creeper blows up, I could be uh could be a goner, that's for sure. Sandstone! I uh Wow, that's a nice sight. I do want some sandstone. It seems that this This appears to lead up from the sea. It's got some coal there, I'll come and collect that momentarily. That's nothing over that way. I've got some mushrooms. Cave goes down there, talking of creepers. Can he get up here? I think he can. Oh wait, no he can't. There's a two block high gap there. So let's go the other way. That's nothing that way, so we've established that. So this is quite a big cave, which is good news. There was the slime. I'm going to ignore that direction for right now. Oh, there's a monster spawner. What is that? Is that spi That's spider. Can I can I plug that? That would be a start. So we've got a spider dungeon right there. Is there another? Let's see if we can rush it. Nope, we can't. But only one spawn, so that's not a big issue. Let's get this guy shut down. There we go. All right. Ooh, ooh, that's. <laughs> voice went a little high there. Um, nice. Bane of Arthropods 5 and Smite 3. That's really good. I, I I like that. Even though it's Bane of Arthropods, that will be handy to have on a diamond sword in a mine shaft. That, that will be perfect uh, for when we go explore a mine shaft. I'm going to grab this iron from here because I'm probably not going to be coming back this way for a while. Um, though I will come back here for... Let's just see if there's another treasure chest. 
I will come back here probably to set up a spider farm at some point if I decide I want a lot of string for whatever reason, bows and whatnot. But that that's a really good haul already, so I'm pretty impressed with that. And we also have a box now, so I can drop down a box at uh, the cave entrance and I can uh, drop my more valuable materials off in there. So let's uh, pop that back. So we've still got to explore that. And that looks to go down some ways. And we have the other path as well. So I believe the exit was just up here. Yeah, here's the, uh, here's the bed. So let's plop down this chest right here. And let's put the enchanted books in here. The iron ingots. And the iron ore. And I'll just clear out my inventory a bit as well. That's always a help. So that's already a pretty good haul. I didn't know that there was going to be a dungeon there. That's nice to know. So we've got more iron here. Let's go and explore this way before we venture down the big pit. Now there was a creeper down here. Whether he's despawned or not, I'm not sure. Now there was a zombie down here. Where's he gone? Has he fell down that hole? Alright. Hmm. I do have cheap blocks to uh, use. I want to take the upper path first. Maybe this links around to the where the big cave is. That does seem to be the case. It seems to link around to where that big cave is. I would like to go and check out this other area first though. Ah, there's the creeper guy that was chilling here earlier. Can he reach me from this side? I don't believe he can. Oh my goodness. Well, that just seems to be to the sea, so... We'll block that off. I'm keeping an eye out in case that creeper decides he wants to pathfind to me. And once I've cleared these caves out, I'll probably grab all the ores off camera before we do the next task today. I really want to... I can't grab him from there, can I? What if I move this out of the way? Can I get you then? Can I come any lower? Ah, oh, there's... Let's see if I can... Get him from... See if I can get him from around this corner. Yeah. How do you like that, creeper? There we go. Now there was a zombie and there's a skeleton now. And they have that stupid rapid shooting mode now. Is that where there's where we've just been. Hello zombie villager, I can't save you right now, unfortunately, sir. I'm not healing. Is something back that way? Ah, uh, this is the uh, big cave that we uh, encountered earlier. A lot of iron down here, which is good news. Um, what else is there? So out of all the paths that we've explored, there's just one left. Ah, here's the... Uh, Here's the box. So we're not far away. We've not actually explored that far, it's just that we've kind of gone in lots of loops. So let's just explore down the one remaining path that we have left. And then we will uh, probably go do something else. I'll grab all the ores off camera and cook those up. Oh hello! Abandoned mineshaft. Slammy! How you doing Slammy? Well, we're not prepared for this at all, so I'm going to leave this alone for right now. But that, that's something to explore later. And it sounds like there's cave spiders in there as well, so... What are, what are you down there? Zombie that spotted me. Well, I don't have an axe on me right now, so... I'm not going to go into that just yet. We'll, we'll take a look at that next time.
two zombies in there. I'm going to cut your water current off. There we are. Does this extend further? It does. Hmm, more coal down here. So what I'm going to do now, I think, is I'm going to assemble all of the stuff that I have found, all the iron and the coal, I'm going to mine out. Yeah, don't like that at all. Being right there. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to grab all that, and then I will head out and I will meet you back at the uh, little home I've got in the village, and then we're going to go and work on the storage bunker for uh, the remainder of today's episode so i hope you enjoyed exploring this cave with me and i will be oh wait hang on I'm not I'm not explored here doesn't look to be much though so i'll just do this no there's nothing up here i don't think no okay so i'll be right back guys Okay guys, I'm back and I got quite a lot of goodies down there. Um, I took the moss stone out of the dungeon for convenience so I don't have to go straight back there if I want to use it. I got over two stacks of coal. I used some on torches to light up a few areas that were a bit dark on my way out. Obviously I got the two nice books here. Um, good, I do have an extra pick. I went down to almost my last pick, which was uh, quite a concern actually. I thought I was going to run out before I mined everything. We've got the two iron ingots from the dungeon, and there was 50 um, pieces of iron that we've uh, mined up. So that's pretty good, all in all. That was a successful mining trip to say that we were only down there for maybe 10 minutes or so. So that's pretty good. Um, well, 10 minutes on camera, but I spent about 20 mining it all up. So, next job is to make a storage bunker. Uh, as you can see, I have this chest. And it's kind of full of all sorts of random junk in here. So I want to sort it out. And we do have this nice big area under this home. And that's where I'm going to build it. I'm going to build myself a storage bunker. So I'm going to make some myself up some stairs. And we are going to start digging it out. And I'm going to need an axe. Do I have an axe around? I do, but it's almost broken. But it should last me. So I want the first stairs to be under this box. And... Eventually there won't be this there, but uh, hmm, do I want it there or do I want it in front of it? I think in front of it might be better. There. And I think I want to leave three. Um, three head height. So we're going to have to move this one still. So let's, let's move you. What's that give us? Still not enough. No, not to get underneath it's not. So we're going to need to take this out. And use up the last two stairs. Now what does that give us if I open this up? Three headroom, perfect. Just what I wanted. So, uh, alright, now we can carve out a little storage room in here. So while I dig all of this out, it's going to be quite boring for you to watch. So I'm going to cut the camera again until I have... Uh, carved all of it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the edge of the home which is right here. There's the start of the gravel road and that's the step I believe. And then that's going to be the uh, it's going to be the last section that I dig out I think. Unless I want to go under the wall. Yeah why not. I can put the uh, wall up there. And I need to go all the way to this edge. Right that's the grass so we know that that is the edge as far as we can uh, go this time although I can take this out and put the wall in there and now I just need to clear the rest of this out it doesn't need to be massive that's that one gone it just needs to be big enough that I can store at least some more of the starting goods that I have lying around and uh, while the iron's cooking up eventually I'm going to make some iron tools but my priority will be to try and get more iron and get iron armor on so that we can tackle that mine shaft. I believe it's at the levels high enough for some of the better minerals to spawn, so stuff like gold and, and that. And that could be handy as well. What are those villagers doing up there? I have no idea, to be quite honest. So, I'm going to dig this out. 
so that I've got place for a wall here. More coal! <laughs> Grab that. So this is where the back edge is going to go, and I can fill this up. And I'll mine this coal out, because you can never have too much coal. That's for sure. Oh, is it going to be in one of these? Oh, it's going to be a big vein. I'm not crazy about that, but I'll take it. Let's mine the rest of this out. So unfortunately I don't have any questions today. Uh, obviously I've just uploaded today. Uh, today is Monday. I uploaded episode 2 which I recorded on Sunday uh, today so there's not going to be any yet. Um, there was none on the first episode so I can't really uh, help much out there. Alright, well that's that gone. I am going to want to get rid of this as uh, much as I can. I've not decided what I'm going to make the wall material yet. I am thinking just, just cobble would do. At least for that bit. I could go um, this side of the stairs as well. I guess I could put some furnaces or something back here. That might be quite nice to have. So let's carve this out. And right here is going to be the back edge. I think of uh, this wall. So let's put that in place. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's put that there. And I can put my uh, furnaces or, or whatever there if I decide I want to do that. So for right now, I'm just going to put up the edges of this. I know what I want to do with the floor. The floor is going to be wood. So uh, we're gonna, we will get some stone out of that. So we might as well start and dig some of this out at the same time. I'm going to fill this in as well. So while I dig the floor out, I am going to get some more wood. So the idea really behind this storage bunker is going to be to try and organise my stuff more effectively so I don't end up with loads of chests upstairs. Because my goal is to actually make that more homely. And now I've got uh, access to iron, I can get shears, which means I can get wool. And I'm going to go and hunt for some red flowers and try and put a carpet in there. And I also want to get some paintings up. We don't have access to leather, so I can't make bookshelves quite yet but uh, there's all those types of things wait that's gonna be that's gonna be where the wall is isn't it no it's not um, it's gonna go oh yeah it is my mistake let's cut this out and my axe is gonna break isn't it before I do this oh no it's not that's that's good news Let's put this wall in here. What are you looking at? Who are you anyway? You're the bread guy. Alright. Keeping an eye on you. I know what you're like. I'm trying to sell me all that bread. Oh, that's that wall finished. Uh. <laughs> I'm terrible with marking out these walls. Yeah, it is going to break now, so it's going to take me forever. I could make another axe, but I'd rather preserve my stone. And who wants to use an old wooden axe? I mean, it's not much faster than your fist, really, when it comes to stuff like planks. So what's the point? There we go. Let's put you in. So what does that leave? Just this wall? Well, brilliant. Oh, and I also need to... Uh, clear that out. I think I'm going to leave this side open. I'm going to put cobble there, I think. So I'm going to need a bit more wood. I do have some more wood upstairs. So let's grab some more of that. And I'm going to need some more stone, which is not ideal, I'm going to be honest. So we're going to have to grab some more of that. That iron's nearly done, which is good news. Uh, well, never mind. Let's pick this up. So I'm going to go and grab some more stone, and I will be right back again, guys. Alright, guys, so we're almost done on the storage bunker here. We've just got to put the chests in. I finished off this by grabbing up some cobble. Also grabbed up some for some furnaces, and I put a crafting bench down here. So let's put in the, the boxes right here. And there's the remaining two are up here. So we're going to have blocks. Uh, this is all kinds of just blocks right now. If I need more space, I will expand it as and when I need it. They're all the blocks that I have, so we're going to put those up here. 
and I'm thinking just a row for sand put all my sand away ooh that's more than that so let's put a row of dirt in and in fact I'm probably going to make two rows of dirt I need to put more stone in that's only going to need half a column really we don't get that too often so cobblestone I'm going to use for the remaining sort of slots here gravel is going to get a row throw that in there and wooden planks they're going to get their own row and wood itself as the block and sandstone. Uh, sandstone can go right there. I'm probably not going to have too much more sand. Uh, I collected a bunch of this sand between this and the last episode for the next project we're going to do, which is going to be the fishing hut. So we're going to use a bunch of that up anyway. So I'm going to put a sign here. Blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, let me see. This one, we're going to put any sort of items in, I think. So stuff like coal, walls, flowers, that rail, those boats, um, wood pickaxe I guess, doors, and those, no that, not those books, um, flint, and I think that's everything because the remaining two are going to be farming and mob drops, so, oh the iron, we can put that away as well. Okay, so uh, this one's just going to be sort of items these are going to be just averagely organized, they're not that important. I'm going to put my coal on the right hand side here. Flint, iron, the walls, that piece of track. Oh, glowstone blocks, they, uh, they belong in here. I'm going to put those right there so we don't get too many of those. Flowers, more miscellaneous junk, sticks, and eventually signs will go in there as well. So we want items items that aren't based around farming or mob drops go in that chest uh, so right here is going to be farming so put an arrow there and mob drops and I'll put those right there there we go so now let's, uh, let's empty all the mob drops out of here next so that's that I'll make sure that it's still daytime arrows are gunpowder slime ball mushrooms are class as farming mm, so the rest of that's just farming stuff so all of this belongs in here and it's almost all conveniently organized for me I'm going to organize it on mob though so we've got zombie drops let's put skeleton drops right here We'll probably get a lot of meat eventually. That zombie meat, slime balls. So that's is that everything? Yeah. So I can uh, grab the rest of what's in this chest now, and I'll set this chest up. Oh, and the sun's going down, so I'll probably want to jump into bed soon. Where is my bed? Oh, it's right there. Let's get that down. I just don't want all the villagers to get sieged, so I'm uh, quick off the bat with that bed. So let's put this right here. So that's going to be farming and all the farmable stuff will go in here. Seeds, wheat, sugar canes, melon. I don't get too much melon often. Though we will eventually, so I'm going to leave that like that. Mushrooms, carrots, apples, saplings, potatoes. I might need a bigger storage area soon um, and we've got a spare sign that's going to go in there and this is a uh... hmm we don't have a miscellaneous oh we do this is more miscellaneous so we'll put those in there okay that's that seems to be the storage bunker done anyway so uh... before we leave today i just want to harvest the uh, village plots here and uh, off camera I'm probably gonna do a lot of work in prep for the fishing shack which we're gonna do next time um, by bringing a gravel path across here and across and down I'm gonna build some more village homes I'm just gonna build some of the smaller ones um, I've got some sand lying around so I can make up some glass and uh, hopefully we can get an iron golem and I'll let you know on how those updates go 
next time. But before we go, I want to harvest all of this. I don't think I'll set up a sheep farm just yet. I would like to see what kind of room I have left. Sort of post doing um, all the housing. I think I think we could roughly get a, around another five or six houses here. But I'm not entirely sure. I would have to uh, have to take a look at it as um, I progress with the uh, development project here. <laughs> it's even got its own little name now. Development project. But there we go. Hopefully I'll be able to trade some more wheat in for some more emeralds that we can trade with some other guys. Potatoes are always handy to have because I can uh, eat those. They're the best source of food I have available right now. So they're certainly handy. More wheat. That's all of that gone. So I think today's episode has been pretty successful. We had a great mining trip. Uh, I am going to make some iron tools, I think, as well, um, between this and the next episode, just to let you know, and probably some iron armor. I won't go caving again, though, as I don't really need to right now. So, next episode will be the fishing shack, and I'll probably make up a fishing rod as well, and we'll do some fishing, because I know people want to see that. <laughs> I'm not sure why, whether you've uh, played the game before or not, um, fishing is perhaps one of the worst activities in the game that you can do. It's so boring, it's meticulous, and particularly when I have better food, it's kind of not worth it, but building a fishing hut will be fun, so we'll do that. <laughs> Practice my uh, tutorial skills for when I do uh, the fishing tutorial, because that's going to be coming up soon. Uh, now I've not uploaded a lot of tutorials in a long time, but they haven't gone anywhere, they're coming back. Unfortunately, uh, I've just been rather busy with map making stuff lately. I'm just getting back into the swing of things after being not very well as well so things are getting there I want to trade with you because you offer a good deal um, I just want to trade the wheat guy or trade with the wheat guy you know the cookie guy one of these guys must offer wheat surely ah uh, well what's that going to get me three three emeralds and your trade isn't disabled yet so I would like some arrows where's that guy I think this is the arrow guy no you're the flint man I'm gonna have to come up with names for all of these guys uh, instead of just what they trade that'll be something I'll think about these villagers man they move around so fast you can never track them oh you were you were slightly cheaper but I wouldn't have got any more emeralds are you the... yes, you're the arrow guy. So let's get some arrows off you. Let's see what you've got to offer me today, sir. Bread. <laughs> oh, you want some? Alright, well, if it unlocks your next trade, I'll do it. Offer me something good, sir. Ah! <laughs> oh, all the trades here seem to be rubbish. Uh, never mind, I guess. I am going to take more arrows though. Oh, he's run off again. The arrow guy. I'm going to take some more of your arrows though, because arrows, they're hard to come by unless you have feathers, and I don't have feathers right now. I don't have much flint actually either, so it's going to be something to think about. In terms of in here, I'm probably going to gather a bunch of wool up off camera and make a little carpet across this area. Oh wait, I can't, can I? Because that would conflict with the storage bunker. Never mind. <laughs> um, we're going to build some little seats and stuff in here, probably in a later episode. And I'm going to get some paintings up in here. I'd like to get a nice big one right here. And uh, well, I'll think up a few other things. I'm going to put some bookshelves in here, maybe some ordinary shelves uh, using some slabs. What are you looking at? I know, I haven't traded with you yet. I'm sorry. Yeah, go on. So yeah, that's something I'll look at in a couple of episodes of time, I imagine. But there we go, storage bunker done, and I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. We've done a range of different activities, so I hope that uh, something took your fancy there. And I hope to see you in the next episode, when we'll build the fishing shack. So until then guys, see you later, and have a good day.